uh, as you know that I'm building these uh, React applications uh, using the Spring Boot web services. So uh, on, uh, I'm creating the Spring Boot web services REST endpoints. So so far in the last video, uh, I created this guy, uh, the list of these uh, JSON object, and I also created the uh the customers yeah also the couple of stuff here customer controller customer repository stuff so now let's begin and let's create a couple of more services okay so the first service is going to be customer uh it should be get by id so we want to get a customer by ID. So we will send here the integers ID and we will find this and we will send back to the our controller. All right. So customer repository get by customer. Sorry, it should be find by ID here. So that as we know that our ID is integer. So it's return the find by id it should be a find by id not find all by id okay so now what happened here oh yeah it's, it's written the optional customer so optional is basically nothing it's just uh, if it, there is no customer then it will return a null we can validate that uh, this one as well so let's validate this one as well to validate it, we will create copy this guy and we'll create a helper class is that we will this helper class going to be exist by id it will check that that this uh, customer is exist or not and it will return a boolean value and it's going to check the id so it's going to check instead of this save we will use here exist by id so basically this will call this service so now we'll call another we'll create another service for edit all right so we will create another service for edit and that's going to be for update customer and the update customer will take an integers id and it will check the customer and it will it will uh, it return yeah it will return the optional customer and let's edit this it will find by the id good and if you find it then we will update this so we'll use a map function here in a map we can same similar like javascript map uh, we will get the object that which is find and we will just do here set name and set name is coming from the customer dot get name all right and we'll just do set dov and we'll let the customer first get dov all right and we'll do dig set uh credit limit and we'll just the customer that credit get credit limit or like with everything is done so if we're done then we will tell the uh, customer repository uh, repository uh, to save this data so we just save this data that's all and we will return this as well so every if we found it if we save it then we will return it all right so this is gonna return to the optional customer once this is done we need to go in controller and we'll create a controller now controller is basically nothing it should be this get i'll put here the another get and this is going to be customer and we will give here the id so this will get the customer by id so this customer by i by id and we will receive here the string that id and we receive this as a path variable so we have to tell that this is a path variable this is another annotations here and this annotation is going to be just a id and that's it and now if we get this guy and we'll just say get a customer by id and we will send this as an integer so we'll integer the parse and we'll send this id and we will send this here and this will not return a customer but this will return the optional customer so this will return the optional customer okay so now if i refresh this okay 
if I refresh this, we will still see that all the data of the customer. But if I delete this and do one here, then we will see receive only one customer. All right. So I'm just going to show you guys here what that ones I'm doing here. So if I do two, then it will give me the two customer three, three. If I put any number, then it will give me null. We could also uh, provide this uh, JSON message here, uh, but we're going to do that later on. So once we did this, we will now we want to do the update functions. So let's go this. So to update, we'll just copy this everything here exactly the same thing so instead of the post is going to be put and it will return the customer i'll tell them to add an id as well all right and uh, i just want to validate this customer from the value request and we will also receive the id id from the path variable We can get the ID directly in a customer, but we will literally tell them to receive, give me the ID to update it. So once we have uh, this uh, customer and update, so now we can update this. And basically, to do update, we have uh, we created a service call update serve customer. And now we will pass this here ID, but this will take as an integer, so we'll just re change this ID to integer, and we'll pass this customer by itself. And once this is done, so we'll return this as an optional customer. Okay, so now if I do this, it still says null, but if I check the all the customers, it will give me all the customer. Let's update the first one. To do that, well, I will go in on go in a postman i'm in the customer i'm inside the customer instead of post just to put and instead of put i need to also send the id for it so customer slash one so i'm going to send the one here customer slash one and i'm going to tell them to update by using this put so instead of the mark we will say this roman and date of uh, birth is 86 instead of the 12 will just stay 11 11 all right so i'll just do update and the id one will, will be returned and this guy is updating so now if i refresh this guy so see we just update this guy so our update is working and get by id is working and i think that's all for this video on next video i'm gonna add a delete functions and maybe i will also add the request entity here uh or sorry response entity that's will response instead of using a null here not this guy instead of using the instead of sending the null we'll we will send a we'll send a, the json message all right so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching